Hey, this is Isaac Kotek, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can use samples and loops and set them up in Ableton Live 10 for your production. All right, so now let's get these samples into Ableton Live. Uh, this type of technique works where you're, let's say, downloading some sample library off of my site or somebody else's, some free sound library, whatever. You get some sounds and you want to use them within Live. Well, right now I've got these, let's say this one shot, I go in here and I'm going to first extract it. It's just zip file, so I'm just gonna extract it to the same place. And now we have that folder there, and if I open this up, you'll see all these different one shots. Well, you'd wanna put this folder wherever you want all your samples to live on your computer, right? Well, for right now, just as an example, I'm gonna drag this over into my desktop. Now my desktop, it's right here. And I'm going to want in Ableton Live to easily get to that. Here we are in Live 10. Now let's say I want to get those samples over into this audio track. Well, I could shrink that down, go here, and manually find the samples I want and drag them in. That would work but I'd rather have much quicker access to all of this. So what you can do is you can go over to add folder in your places here in the browser. Then I'm gonna to go to my desktop or wherever that folder is. And here we go, the Colossal Thunder one shot. I select it. Now if I scroll down, bam, I've got this folder with all these different sounds. So I can just go ahead and drag them in. Now this is basically how I organize my own library within 10. So I have these original, which are things that I've created or public domain, stuff I've bought and have royalty rights or whatever. So for the public domain, I have my drum loops and so on. And all this is just one folder that I pointed to in the places by saying add folder, like I just showed. Now one of the awesome new features is let's say even in this colossal, now going through this colossal, let's say there was one that I really liked. What I can do is I can right click and I can add it to favorites. So let's go with add it to yellow. I'm gonna scroll up to yellow and let's rename this to um, cool one shots. And now whenever I'm in here, I can right click, add to cool one shots. Add to cool one shots. And now when I come up, in my favorites, I don't have anything. In my cool one shots, we've got that. We've got some in percussion. Great, and that is a different way of organizing it. Now, granted, when you have a whole bunch of loops or samples, that is not very useful. I find this is more useful for like a set of sounds or presets that you're working with right now. You save them as favorite things that you go to, like the basses you use all the time or whatever. And once you've got that all set, you're ready to go with samples, one shots, as well as loops within Ableton Live. 